Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. It's another day of progress unpacking, HTV preparations, science experiments, and maintenance activities in space today. The International Space Station Flight Control Team is watching over all of this from here on the ground in the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where they're led by Flight Director Dina Contella with Serena, Serena Onyon in the role of Capcom today. In space, the Expedition 36 crew is more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time. They are Russian Commander Pavel Vinogradov, U.S. Flight Engineers Chris Cassidy and Karen Nyberg, European Space Agency Flight Engineer Luca Parmitano, and Russian Flight Engineers Alexander Misurkin and Vyotr Yurchikin. Cassidy, Vinogradov, and Misurkin have been in space and at the space station since March 28th, putting in putting them at their 123rd day mark of the mission. Nyberg, Parmitano, and Yurchikin, meanwhile, launched and docked on May 28th, so they've now spent 62 days in space and at the station. Together, the crew is currently orbiting 258 miles above the Bay of Bengal and heading toward the coast of Burma. Looming large again on the crew's agenda today is more preparation for the upcoming launch of the Kunatori H2 transfer vehicle number four. That Japanese cargo vehicle is scheduled to take off from the Tanegashima Space Center in Japan at 2.48 p.m. Central Time on Saturday. And flight engineers Kieran Nyberg and Chris Cassidy spent some additional time today training to capture it using the space station's robotic arm and pulling it uh, to the space station for berthing at the Harmony node. That berthing is scheduled to take place on August 9th. Meanwhile, Commander Pavel Vinogradov is spending most of his day unpacking another cargo vehicle. That's the Russian Progress 52, which arrived on Saturday carrying almost three tons worth of supplies and equipment that he's been working to unload and get entered into the space station's inventory management system. His fellow Russian crewmates have a couple of different science experiments planned for the day including one that looks at developing technologies to produce biomasses of microorganisms and one that studies how interleukins react to germs and microgravity. There are several science experiments going on on the U.S. side of the station as well. Parmitano and Nyberg are both taking part in the reaction self-test again today, looking at how fatigue affects their performance. And Parmitano is also continuing his current run of the pro -K experiment, which looks at how an astronaut's diet can decrease their bone loss during long stays in space. In addition, Cassidy is joining them today for another segment of the ocular health experiment. All three astronauts are performing fundoscope exams of their own eyes in an ongoing effort to document the changes in astronaut vision over the course of their expedition. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.